ingenious supplies. Cast Heat Shimmer, targeting my creature. Dual Caster Mage it, make a million Dual Caster Mages. Good game? This might be what you hear when the game ends, but what's actually going on behind the scenes? Welcome back to Better Know a Combo, brought to you by the Spike Feeders, Game Genic, and me, your Commander Mechanic. Today's combo uses Dual Caster Mage, a 3 mana 2 2 with flash that copies an instant or sorcery spell when it enters the battlefield. It also uses Heat Shimmer, a 3 mana sorcery that creates a token copy of a creature. You can also swap in Twin Flame, which essentially does the same thing. The creature that these two spells create has haste, which will come in handy later. We'll start with a creature in play. Any creature will do. If you're using Twin Flame, it'll have to be a creature you control. Cast Heat Shimmer targeting a creature. I'll hold priority and cast Dual Caster Mage, and when it enters the battlefield, it triggers its own ability, targeting Heat Shimmer. I'll let that ability resolve to put a copy of Heat Shimmer on the stack, targeting the Dual Caster Mage that just entered the battlefield. When that copy resolves, I'll get another copy of Dual Caster Mage, which can target the original Heat Shimmer spell that's still on the stack. I can repeat this process any number of times, and when I've got enough dual caster mages in play, I'll target the original creature with the copied spell to end the loop. This leaves me with an arbitrarily large number of dual caster mages. I could take advantage of enter the battlefield abilities with something like an impact tremors, but because they have haste, I can also just attack to end the game. This sounds awesome, but how can people interact? Let's take a look at the original description of the combo and talk about the ways you can interact at the times you receive priority. Cast Heat Shimmer, targeting a creature. I'm going to hold priority here, so you won't get a chance to act until I cast Dual Caster Mage and both spells are on the stack. You can counter Heat Shimmer or Dual Caster Mage here to stop the combo in its tracks. Normally, because Heat Shimmer targets the creature, you'd be able to remove the creature to stop the combo, but we don't actually need the original to resolve in order to kick things off. After Dual Caster Mage resolves, it enters the battlefield ability goes on the stack targeting Heat Shimmer. This is another opportunity to remove the Dual Caster Mage, counter the Heat Shimmer, or stifle the Dual Caster Mage enter the battlefield trigger. You can also deflecting swat the copied Heat Shimmer target back to the original creature to break things up. There's one last opportunity to interact before you lose the game. If I'm going to try and close things out in the combat step, tricks like Ink Shield, Settle the Wreckage, or any fog effect will prevent you from losing, and Rakdos Charm will allow you to kill the combo player in almost every circumstance. This sounds awesome, but what if you're not playing reactive spells like that? Sometimes it's best to shut them down. Cards like Ghostly Prison, Sphere of Safety, and Propaganda price the combo player out of being able to attack you. Leyline of Singularity turns Dual Caster Mage into the lootery we have at home, meaning you're never going to lose to it in a game of Commander. Rule of Law won't stop the combo player from copying spells, but this combo does require you to cast two actual factual spells. Torpor Orb, Tokatli Honor Guard, and Hushwing Griff prevent Dual Caster Mage's ability from triggering when it enters the battlefield, preventing you from making copies. Aether Flash and Tainted Aether will trigger whenever one of the copied Dual Caster Mages enters the battlefield. This won't technically stop the loop, but it will prevent the combo player from amassing an army. That's just about it for this episode of Better Know a Combo. If you've got a combo you want to see explained, make sure to let us know in the comments below. I've been your Commander Mechanic, and if you want to check out any of my content, it's linked in the video description. We'll catch you next time. Hey, thank you for checking out the Spike Feeders on YouTube. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you close the window, or you can click on this link to check out our other great videos.